Why, hello there. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighborhood noob. Of course, I'm Newbert, and we're back with Hourglass SMP. That's right. And today, I'm in front of the castle. Because guess what? It's coming. It's time. We have speeches to perform. Oh, we're going to prove why we're going to be the best king or queen. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh, look at this beautiful castle. I could live here. I could be the leader. Not only that, I've made some posters. Some perfect posters to tell people that I should be the king. Oh, it's going to be wonderful and great. <sighs> Don't forget to vote friendly. Don't forget to vote Nubert for king. Oh, if you also like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. Let's jump into this episode. Let's go. Right, I have got prepared a few posters. And I'm going to place them around the place and uh, make sure people know who should be king. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Future king, tall, question mark, handsome, question mark, lover, question mark, fighter, kindest, leader, friendliest. Not Bailey, the friendly killer. Future king. Ah, oh, isn't it beautiful? And it looks just like me. Oh, it's perfect. I'm going to start putting these campaign posters all around the place. This looks like a good spot. Perfect. Oh, that looks good too. Yep, another perfect spot right on the stage. Ah, uh, there's the... See, people will know it's my home now. If you're wondering why I put water behind me, it's because I'm... I want them to think of me as like a god that can walk on water. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. I can also put it in my store because I need people to know. Perfect. And I'll put one over in the night markets as well. Ah, it's exactly what I wanted. Oh, beautiful poster. Oh, future king. Tall, handsome, lover, fighter, friendliest, leader, of kindness. And not Bailey, the, the friendly killer, you know. Uh, we, we can't let her get elected. No, 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 no. She's a murderer of all friendlies. All friendlies know this. All of them. It is crazy how many friendlies know this. <sighs> Either way, I've got my posters ready, and hopefully people will like them. So, so Bailey, what do you think of my poster? Future king, tall, handsome, lover, fighter, friendliest, leader, kindness. Isn't it great? I'm sure it says all that and more, but I cannot see it. Oh, that's sad. What do you think? What do you think of the poster? Hang on. <laughs> it's just spreading the truth. The truth of the friendlies. You have asked a lot of questions in this poster, and I believe the answer to all of them is a solid no. Oh, there are yeses. All of them. Every single last one. I don't think so. Not at all. I mean, look how strong I am. There we are. Now I can hear things again. Oh, the posters are going everywhere. I have to go reset them now because, um, yeah, I have to reset them. It's fine, it's fine. Now everyone will be able to see them. Hey, hey, have you seen, have you seen my, my, my campaign posters? Have you, uh, come, 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 come see the, my poster for being, uh, the leader, the king, of course. Look at this. Future king. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, she's a notorious friendly killer. She's killed two friendlies already. It's crazy. Ignore him. He's, ignore him. So true. So true. One of them didn't die. Well, um, about that. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, you have actually killed more friendlies. You just don't know about it. You know, the, you know, friendlies, if they die and their families go untended to, you murdered their friendly family as well. Um, terrible, ter uh, ter terrible times, terrible times. Your circumstances. Oh, God. Better get away there before she murders me next. As I said, um, uh, well, welcome to the community. I actually have ne ne not met you yet. Um, I I'm Newbert, and I have a twin brother named Friendly. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while, but just basically just don't give him anything with fire. And you should be fine. Don't worry. No fire here. N n nothing hot in here? Uh, no, at least not too hot. You know, our structure is made out of mostly wood. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, so true, 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 true. And you don't want to have to take off all your clothes. Cause I am getting so hot, I gotta take my clothes off. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry, I was, uh, I may have been, uh, on the stage practicing for my speech. Um, Valid, as you should. Well, yeah, we have, we have, uh, uh, nomination speeches for King and Queen, and, uh, someone nominated me. Uh, I, 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 I believe it was an anonymous vote, but I, I don't know. Totally, totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who would have done such a thing, um. 
But look, I have been looking after my brother every single day until I gave him his freedom and now he's run off. So, you know, sometimes they have to leave the nest and, uh... I, I know that everyone's preparing wonderful speeches about why they should be king, but instead, I decided I should do what friendlies do best and tell you what not to do. You know? I would like Jiminy Cricket. Well, yeah, I, I decided instead I'm gonna tell them why they why you guys shouldn't vote for them. And I, and I had a, a lot of reasons, my God. Writing down all the reasons was, uh, it was a lot. I had to choose the best ones. There were so many. I, 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 I have experience uh, ruling over something, and, um, and I'm not completely batshit insane like most people here. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's a perk in itself. I know. I, I can keep everyone calm and, and collected while they all run around like headless chickens screaming. Oh, but I have met your beautiful, beautiful wife. Uh, she's, she's wonderful. She's lovely. She's so nice. I stared at her through a window and she told me to get the fuck out. Oh, it's so nice of her. <laughs> I know. She's, she's charming like that. I know. And she didn't even, it wasn't even like she was like, get the fuck out, you weird gremlin man or something. She just told me to get the fuck out. She's simple. You know, it's, it's the simple words. Yeah, Pressed status. Could, uh, you know, you know, nail that one down. Ah, oh, can't find a, can't find a man or a woman for myself, but, you know, tough times we're in. Ah, oh, tough times. Would you like anything? Right now I'll have fried rice. I'm... Ooh, I do love some fried rice. But no, I, 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 I'm very excited to, you know, be part of this, this, uh, project with, with, uh, the, the, the wizard, you know, the grand old friendly. <laughs> He seems like a nice fellow. Oh, he's like an uncle to me. He, he, he looked after me and my brother when we were very young. And uh, yeah, he, he le left us at a, a, on a, a beautiful place, beautiful islandy place and, and, and let us thrive. And then, of course, uh, friendly, my brother um, decided to burn the entire place down. And I said to myself, Nubert, can't let him do that again. So, uh, yeah, that, that entire world, he decided to uh, make a, a beam that brought the sun really close to our planet and uh there's no planet no more so are you, are you excited for the speeches you know uh listening to everyone, what everyone has to say i'll actually be able to attend i miss the the the, oh, the town meeting yeah 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 i hear we have about 30 uh 30 people in this uh somewhere all over the place like there's people keep popping up i mean how many interns does wizard want you know but uh hey it's it's an experiment and uh I met I met quite a few of them so far, but there are some still some new people who have just gone off exploring and kind of been very antisocial, you know. Hello, 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 everyone! Welcome to the first uh, kind of uh, electoral thing. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what to call this. Uh, speechery th uh, type words and stuff, where we basically tell you guys why we should be kings or queens of this humble village. Oh, so beautiful, humble. Oh, so sweet. So, uh, obviously, one by one, we'll come up and uh, tell you guys why. Why you should choose us as the ruler. And then we'll whittle it down to three who will move on to the great debate. And uh, there'll be many tough questions to be asked. I mean, many, many, many tough questions. And uh, uh, it's going to be very terrifying. Uh, we, we're, we're even compiling some of the more, you know, harder questions that will definitely, you know, test if you could truly be a leader. But uh, I want to thank you all for coming today, you know, uh, you know, putting out your support for everyone that's here. Boo! And, and thank you for my brother for coming out of hiding for whatever reason to be here. That's, um, thanks, bro. Suck it! Suck it. Is, isn't he great, guys? He's great, fellas. Yeah, yeah, he's wonderful. Yeah. Um, if anyone would like to go first, you know, just to get it out of the way and because you're nervous or anything, you're more than welcome to. I'd yeah. be happy to. Because I'm pretty sure my speech is going to leave you all go not wanting to come up. All right. Well, hello one and all. Thank you for attending and hearing all of our speeches. I am sure we will all be making valid points and speaking from the heart. I'm also sure we are all grateful for your nominations and faith in each and every one of us. I myself would like to start off by saying what a king or queen should be one good at bureaucracy all that paperwork and such like i mean what is the point of a government if not paperwork two fair and orderly and just three willing to listen to the people because like that's what we're here for to serve the people in short i believe the king or queen serves you not the other way around so in order to handle bureaucracy one should be well learned i'm a reporter and historian i've spent my life learning in fact just look at my glasses Ew, what are these it's not the sign of so knowledgeable <laughs> Yes, thank you for the encouragement for my glasses. More than welcome. Having taken on the role of reporter, you can trust I'll be transparent. 
as I desire to only report on facts and the truth. The media will rule your life. I have to be unbiased as the reporter for that reason. Now, I could go on and on talking about policies and plans, but I'm sure none of you want to sit through me doing so. True. Um, <laughs> so instead of me droning on and on, I'm going to end this and say that if elected king, I have a promise. Well, I accidentally skipped one of my notes, but you know, well, I'll get back to that maybe at the debate. But if elected king, I have a promise to you all. I promise you a story, a story of trials and triumph, intrigue and mystery, friendships and betrayals. This will be a story everyone can partake in, and I even already confirmed certain roles with the people. And there are still more roles to fill for what is a story without the actors within it. So with that, I will take my leave of the stage. Thank you very Bye, much. Bye, Woo! I am a nerd! Woo! Go nerds! Hello, everybody! I'm not gonna stand behind this. I'm gonna stand in front so you can all see me. Um... When I was elected, I was a little bit surprised, um, but also very excited that you guys are looking forward to possibly having me in leadership again. Uh, looking at how we got to where we are today, we're here because the wizard has a plan for us. We're all here to learn how to be time travelers and how to be apprentices to them. I think it's really important to focus on that and learning and growing together. So my campaign is going to be a campaign of peace. I think we all were brought here for a reason and we need to figure that reason out before we go off trying to start wars. I think more than anything, we need to focus on growth and working together and fitting into specific roles that we want to be in. Bailey spoke about wanting to protect the town. and I think that's important. I think we should give each person the role that they want to have so that we can all work together and become a thriving society. After all, like Historia said, we're all here to learn and we should learn together. Thank you. Woo! So, here's the deal. I can't be with you here today and that's fine. You may be wondering what I'm doing standing here giving my speech then instead of showing off my strength and bravery for you all today. That's because my opponents are up here too. That, they don't get to do edits and retakes and fumbles that nobody sees. Therefore, I won't allow myself that either. You might be wondering, why vote for me? Well, for starters, I work hard to keep us safe. That's what I do. Whether I'm good at it or not, I'll take up my sword and defend my friends to the cost of my life. Wind can attest to that, remember the last caves? And Nico, here's to how hard we fought in the nether. I haven't had that much fun in years. That's another reason I'd be a great king. The fun, the adventure. Under my rule, we would travel in the four directions of the compass, learning about our world and growing our kingdom. There are cave systems to be explored, dungeons to be conquered and we can do it all. Thank you for listening, and I trust you all to vote correctly. I don't know who voted me. It was a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> if you don't vote for me to move on, um, yeah, you will be in danger. Um, Ooh. Oh. Shut up, pigs! Shut up, pigs! Yes, thank you, friend. Thank you. What's, what's Australia? It's uh, a magic land. Yes. Great land. Have kangaroos. Yes. What's a kangaroo? What's a kangaroo? Oh, we ride uh, them. It's, it's, it's a... <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, ah, ah. If, if you vote for me, I'll get you a kangaroo. A pet kangaroo. That's a guarantee. Oh, oh. It's like an upright horse. Um, um, with big feet. Yeah. Yes, big rabbit with anger issues. Um. Yeah, if you vote for me, uh, you get a pet kangaroo, and you won't be on my hit list. Uh, yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Oh! oh. I'm gonna stand on the thing. Hang on. I gotta pull up my thing. Um, so, I'm not really good at this, and also don't really want to be king or queen. Um, so, if I win, I will let Friendly, the arsonist, burn down this entire village, except my house. Um, thank you for your time. And Malvin! Oh, where are you? Woo! Fuck yeah, you for yeah. voting me.
Hello, citizens of this beautiful land. I, Newbert, of the Friendlies, think I would make a wonderful king to rule over your most amazing lands. Now, I could sit here and tell you all why I'd be the best king you'll ever meet, tell you of my keen intellect and my debating skills. However, I feel that uh, you are here for other things, and only one thing, actually, to find the king who can truly slay the competition. I can do that here and now. You see, the other candidates are simply not cut out for such an important role. Take Wynne, for example. We all know and love and often have to look after uh, her, I I wanting her to look after us as well. However, on the first day, she spent most of her time running from skeletons and dying constantly, spending much needed resources that we could have used on more important deaths. And why, do you ask, did she do this? Well, I believe she screamed, I want my flowers! Can you really trust a leader who places the importance of flowers over lives? Sure, they're pretty, but so is Wynne. And her own vanity is her flaw. And her mission to find beauty will always get in the way of her being the perfect queen. It's just, it's just it's such a tragedy. Oh, tears, tears. Next we have Bailey, someone who my people know very well as a murderer and hit woman who takes pleasure in hunting down friendlies and portraying them. Two friendlies have lost their lives with her arrogance. She even told me once that she has no need to be a leader because she just wanted to be simply explore. Couldn't you explore the idea of protecting our people and putting their lives first instead of painting wonderful paintings and ignoring the constant threat that looms over us called time itself? How can you trust you as a leader? If you can't even trust you, uh, that you won't stab us in the back. <sighs> so awful. So awful. The man of the hour, Zeratas, the one we used to look up to. But I've heard tales of his him taking on leadership roles, and your thirst for knowledge, Mr. Tez, is unquenchable. Are you the kind of explorer who needs to know everything? A scholar, an intellectual man, a man who is best left alone with his books. What if our community is to come under fire? Will you look up from your book in the moment of need? Or will you simply be a reader and dreamer? We need someone who's willing to do what is right and actually perform actions instead of giving us kind and caring, sensitive words. Where is it, where is it for teaching? You may be a teacher, but we need a king. Someone strong and willing to do what is right, putting their people first. Moving on to the other candidates, I don't think I need to say much. Though Josh is new, I have already got a sense of that he is a crazy bastard, and uh, if he became king, he would probably destroy everything and go to war. And after hearing his speech, I stand by that. And uh, I'm not saying that he's hot-headed, but if he, he carries a bucket of water around to put on his head every so often. I, I also think Nico would be a great ruler, if they actually gave a shit. They have no interest in leading, nor could they actually lead anything. You know the saying, you gotta lead a horse to water? Nico accidentally led that horse to lava, lava and proceeded to force that horse to drink said lava. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be force-fed lava. And finally, Zedlik. Honestly, I would love to say something that would prove to everyone that you were not equipped to be a leader, but I'm pretty sure I don't need to. And I know you're probably going to say something like, oh, 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 but know that my words come from the heart. And if you couldn't guess, I'm pretty much saying you're a bad leader. And you'd be assassinated within the first few seconds of your rule. Probably by a ball of lint. Or a falling tree. In conclusion... <laughs> in conclusion, it's not that I will be the best ruler that ever existed. Or I would make any of promises I could not keep to you. But let's be honest. I've pretty much laid out why all the other options left in our group are not really viable. If you really want to put your safety in the hands of the people that you nominated, I will respect that. But I'll also understand that you guys have a death wish. So please, think when you vote. Who do you really want? Someone who will stand behind you? Or someone who gets distracted constantly? Because there's a lot of distracted people here. A lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wonderful audience. Wonderful audience. <laughs> Alright, I say the new after each speech. <laughs> Alright.
right. Sorry, I was stun locked. My bad. All right. I'm not gonna pretend like I'd be a good leader. I know I wouldn't. All right. I'm not saying you guys should vote for me, and this is probably a bad thing to we say. If I'm a candidate. Fate, shut up. Dude. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, if you guys did vote for me, which would I agree would be a bad decision. I would get free food to everyone. Stop I'm just saying that. that. Be nice. Let him speak. I can make your favorite food. I can go on the edge of the earth to try and find the ingredients. Oh, hear him out. And I can. I can even uh, give people flint and steel if they need it. Um, that's that's about it. Please don't burn I don't anything. Really have I don't really have a speech prepared. That's just what I wanted to say. <laughs> Let's go! You, it's not like you're already doing better than me, so... Well, well, well. How wonderful you've all been today, you know, sitting here listening to all the candidates. And of course, I'll be asking over the next couple of days who you think should be the options for the top three candidates. So we'll go into the debate and debate each other. You know, trying to prove that they would be the perfect king and queen. And I'm sure you'll make the perfect decision. You know, uh, it could be Wynn, Zertes, Bailey, Nico, Zetlik, that Josh guy, or even myself, Mr. Newbert. And I hope you make the right decision for the safety of our, you know, lovely home. Wonderful, 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 <laughs> wonderful village. Thank you all for coming. I want to thank you all for coming. And of course, uh, if you, uh, I, I'm sure Sandy and Candy can uh, host some lovely drinks at their new tavern. Uh, if you'd like to stay and chat with the with the candidates and, uh, you know, uh, have a wonderful day. But thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, clap for yourself. Clap for you. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, so wonderful. <laughs> and, anyway, uh, I've got to get to the stage now. Uh, he does that. Oh, jeez, oh, oh, what just happened? Oh, oh, uh, we Tom Fullery was afoot. <laughs> well, we don't have a king, oh, so. Attempt. Uh, uh, assassination attempt. Well, Actually, it wasn't, wasn't an attempt. That was an That was less of an attempt and more of a. Yeah, I, I will say we don't have a king, so we can't really do anything about this. Um, we just stare. I dropped it. Thank you. I would not lead a horse to lava and force it to drink. I have a feeling you would. I have a feeling you would. You'd be like, oh, look at this soupy hot. Look at this soup. Oh, it's so lovely. I fell in lava. I know what lava is. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yes, yes, very much so. I wasn't calling you dumb. I wasn't calling you dumb at all. I know what lava is. I only spoke the truth. Oh, I'm assuming the bar. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, no hard feelings, guys. No hard feelings. I was just speaking the truth. You know, gotta, gotta, gotta let no, everyone no, no, no. know. That little bitch. Friendly. Your mom. I brought friendly. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I, I brought snacks to share with everybody. Oh. If you'd like snacks. Rules. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I'm only getting like one vote from uh, friendly. <laughs> Yes, uh, my my brother is probably going to be the only one that votes for you, but you know that's uh, that was expected. <laughs> yeah, and also kind of the point. Let's hope he doesn't uh, rig the votes in some way. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna head up to the tavern uh, so I can yeah you know, sit okay. down. Been standing up on that stage for like the last oh, twenty know. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quoting my wife. Give me a moment. <laughs> my wonderful wife is so nice. Wow. Yellow. I think been the one who wasn't asleep. I think that went really well. <laughs> hello. hello. Oh, hello there. Look Reader. Out. Oh. Look out. <laughs> An explosion. Yep. That's the thing. Everything's fine. Got in things with a bang. I think that went wonderfully. Everyone had a wonderful speech and really told each other what what's for, you know? I'm looking through my notes and I realized I didn't write a whole sticky note of what things I meant to say. 
Yeah, that, it, it's 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 a it, you definitely need some planning. I just literally read out my entire script. I mean, I did that too, but like <clears throat> I just forgot to write out a portion. <laughs> I, I I will say that there was definitely more uh, stuff I could have used, uh, 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 roast stuff. Um, I even had stuff for other people who weren't part of the well, thank uh, you. Uh, the, the the nominations. I just felt pro probably not the best, so you know. Oh, what's wrong, Zetlik? What's the matter? Yeah, I have a gift, Ben. I have a bunch of onions. Let's just say I was killed um, twice today. Oh, uh, once with words and once with actual um, physical harm? Uh, no, you. both with actual physical, physical harm. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't have my words couldn't kill you. Your words weren't all that sharp, to be honest. Oh, good. Oh, that's Being sad. Being called vain was that's funny, because I wouldn't consider myself vain. <laughs> uh, uh, so, sorry, when are you talking your, uh, about yourself again? Oh, I'm so, uh, sorry. Uh, I just tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had to say it. I had to! Don't worry, I have inventory space. <laughs> Wait, did her big head just explode? Ah, <sighs> we're just moving away from prying ears, of course. You know, gotta make sure uh, we're all alone. Oh, that was a uh, a lot of people talking in a bunch of different conversations. Oh yeah, I have no idea what was happening, but I I, I feel that my speech was uh, quite uh, formidable. It was a pretty good speech compared to the others. I could definitely uh, could have uh, gone a bit harder on them, but. Uh, I thought it best, you know, not to slander the, them too much. You know, there was definitely a lot of material to work with of their m miscomings and flaws. Yeah, you don't want to go down to the level of your brother. That would be uh. No, no, no. He had some quite horrible things to say. So you did receive the the letter, and you did place the sign. So that means you do want to become official part of uh, the Kabul cult. I do. That sounds mm, cool. Exciting. We do actually have another member, B B uh, Bailey. Uh, Bailey B is already part of oh, our team. I was wondering if there's anyone. I have extended a hand, or I should say, a cobble fist, to uh, me, uh, me uh, uh, Mevin as well, um, which is going to be very confusing. Melvin okay. and Mevin in the same cult, but uh, you know, I thought that they would be a great part for a cult. And Sandy and Candy have also been received an invitation, but have not yet responded. So that those are my selection. I I I knew that uh, already that the there are four uh, uh, four cults, and uh, I know that Pix is the leader of the Mothman, as he's made that quite clear. He's about as subtle as a, a dump truck in the morning. Wait, uh, wait, wait, there's four different cults. Yes, ours are, ours are included in that four. Uh, oh, okay. So oh, there's the, the frog. Yeah, the frog cult, which is uh, run by Clyde. The mushroom cult, run by Miko. Oh. Uh, Pix actually. Oh, Miko is. Yes, yes, I, I know she lied to us. Oh, sorry, they. Uh, well, I mean, he lied to us. Yeah, he lied to us. It was, yes. it was, uh, it was horrible. We, we were investigating and didn't even know. Uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, the Mothman with uh, Pix and ourselves, the Cobble Cult. And uh, right. of course, we're gonna have to keep it under wraps, especially if um, I don't think one of uh, like Zeratez win is uh, win is probably going to win this this you know. Race. I'm gonna uh, be honest. Probably a good chance one of those two wins. Yes, yes. As much as I can bring out good speeches and probably can debate them into the ground, they have what they call uh, razzmatazz, uh, charisma. Uh, yes. Yeah, I have charisma of words. They have charisma of kindness. And uh, friendlies are great with kindness, but we also, you know, like to keep people at arm's length. And they have uh, already amassed followers behind them before they, you know, Put their put themselves forward. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely think they are going to be king, a king and queen, and and uh, hopefully we won't have to you know assassinate them, murder them. Well, we should only wait and see. I mean... As long as they don't you know press any buttons or put any rules out that I uh, would particularly not like hey, um... for us. But oh. but like he's Zelik took down all his posters because he's not moving on to the next round. Oh, he's so shamed, so shamed. <laughs> oh. Oh, so shamed. Oh, God. Who did that? I don't know. Why would, why would they do that? I don't know, but we noticed it earlier and we were like, what is this? But also, so shamed. So shamed. Oh, what a day. What a day it has been. Oh, it was so busy. 
so crazy, so amazing. I mean, I gave a beautiful speech, I think, and uh, I, I believe the people like to listen to it. However, I've made a decision, you know. I mean, I've had a thought. If I was to become king, my cultly duties would, would we had to be put on the side, you know, the sidelines. I don't know if I'd like that. I think I'd rather be one of those people that controls the royalty with my, my coatly powers. I, 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 I'm thinking of just uh, of stepping down from the race. You know, I have more important things to look into, like power. Power isn't always given to those who are, are elected. Yeah, sometimes it's taken. Ha! <laughs> So, I am looking into that, and, and, uh, and maybe I'll do that instead. Either way, I have been told that I got my order from Mies. Ooh, melon popsicles. Cute. What's this? Book and quail. Book and quail. Uh, ten iron ingots. Chest two. Okay, tusk three. Oh, wonderful. That was easy. That was easy. Okay, uh, let me get a uh, fortune three. Oh, I think I have a fortune three, don't I? No, I don't. No, no. Oh, I have a looting three. I might give that to him as well. It's like a little present, you know. Uh, thank you for doing such a good job. And I can definitely afford uh, 10 iron. That's uh, not even a, a drop in the bucket uh, for me. I wouldn't say I'm rich, but I'm not poor. You know, I'm not poor. I don't think cult leaders should be poor. So obviously, uh, next next time we, we all get together is going to be the grand debate. Uh, where Bailey, Wynn, and Zeratez are going to have to come together and uh, kind of tell us why we should be, they should be the king. And uh, honestly, I'm going to be the moderator. Purely honored. Purely honored. I'm so honored to have the position, you know. I'm going to be asking the questions. The tough, tough questions. And then, the, of course, the audience will have the chance, too. But all, all honesty, I am so proud of the group and how much they've, uh, they've worked towards this. I mean, look at this poster. Vote Wynn. A vote for win is a vote for peace. And that's why I won't be voting for her, because I personally don't need peace right now, you know? Uh, what is it? That, that, and a little something. So yeah, I have made a decision. I will be stepping down from the race so that I can focus more on my cult-like stuff. Now I think that's very smart. Now that I have Melvin and Bailey joining, I can only need more people. Anyway, guys, we've come to the end of the episode. That's right, we've come to the end of the episode. It's been great. It was fun. I had We had a whole bunch of speeches. We had more conversations about cults. Important conversations. And I got to roast the hell out of the other candidates. It was great. I had fun. I really did. And I hope you did, too. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat the spaghetti. Because I have a whole stall full of it. And I will see you in the next episode of Hourglass SMP. Oh, it's been wonderful hanging out with you guys, but I have to go. I have more important things to do, like running a cult. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I won't be doing any big movements, not until the king or queen is elected. I mean, that's the important part. We have to know who we're dealing with and the rules they're going to set. But until then, see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. Farewell.